Good morning everyone. In this video, we are going to cover the current affairs. For mobile optimized ebooks, please install GK Today Academy app. You can attempt the quiz in this app and you can read detailed explanation. For regular updates, please join our Telegram channel. The link is given in the description box. We have started a new channel Civils Academy. You can subscribe to it if you find it relevant. Now you can order hard copy of our MCQ series and the website is gktbooks.com. The link is given in the description box as well. Now let's start. Vanvasi Samagam, a tribal congregation, was organized in which state or union territory? So recently, this was organized in Sonbhadra district of Uttar Pradesh. And President of India was the chief guest for this event. Now Vanvasi stands for tribal or tribe. For the welfare of tribal community, we have National Commission for Scheduled Tribes. Now recently, Uttar Pradesh was also in news because of Kala Namak rice. So Uttar Pradesh was in news because it is going to export the Kala Namak rice to Singapore. The Kala Namak rice is also known as Buddha's Prashad. Apart from this rice, recently one more variety of rice was in use. It is Baudhan and it is a variety of rice that is rich in iron and usually it is cultivated in the Brahmaputra Valley region of Assam. Recently, the first consignment of this red rice, why red? Because it is rich in iron. So the first consignment of this red rice was flagged off to USC. Now the special thing about this variety of rice is that it is grown without the use of any chemical fertilizer. This Kala Namak rice is a part of one district one product initiative for Siddharth Nagar district of Uttar Pradesh. Now what is this one district one product? It is a scheme by the government to promote one special product from district and to provide all necessary support for the promotion of that specific product. An advisory committee has been set up to study which Indian river for the next two years and this committee is to be chaired by culture minister. So for which river this committee has been constituted. So this committee has been constituted for Saraswati river. So this committee is going to study about this river. Now before this committee a panel was also set up in 2017 and it was set up by ASI. What is ASI? It is Archaeological Survey of India. So ASI is under Ministry of Culture. Present DZ, that is Director General of ASI is V. Vidyavati. Headquarters of ASI is in New Delhi and it was founded in 1861. So you can see this is the Saraswati River. Now the problem is that this river is dried up. So that is why a committee has been constituted to study about this river and this committee will be chaired by Culture Minister. So the Saraswati River is a west flowing river. This is Arabian Sea. This is Bay of Bengal. What are few other west flowing rivers? These are say Luni, Narmada and these rivers Godavari, Krishna, Kaveri. These are east flowing rivers. East flowing means they are flowing towards eastern direction and west flowing means they are flowing towards western direction. OT PR MS certificates are associated with which union ministry? So these are associated with Ministry of Education. Previously, it used to be known as MHRD, that is Ministry of Human Resource Development. Now it has been renamed as Ministry of Education. Present minister is Ramesh Pokhriyal Nishank. So what is this OT PRMS? It is Online Teacher Pupil Registration Management System. So this is a management system. Now those individuals who have completed any course under this National Council for Teacher Education, they can register themselves on this specific platform so that they can be recruited as teachers. Suppose your name is A1, you completed a course under this National Council for Teacher Education. Now you can register yourself on this platform so that you can be recruited as teacher. Of course, there are other conditions as well. So this is just your entry in the database. Now it was in news because Recently, Education Ministry decided to link this OTP RMS certificates with DZ Local service. What is DZ Local? So it is like your locker where you keep your documents safe. Similarly, you can keep your documents online with the help of DZ Local service. Now, please note that this National Council for Teacher Education is a statutory body. Which institution announced a rule that sought to treat banks' additional tier 1 bonds as having 100 years of maturity. So this was in news because of a circular by SEBI. What is SEBI? It is Securities and Exchange Board of India. Now first thing first, what is a bond? Suppose you are A1, you need money. You are going to sign a bond 
and say B1 purchased. B1 gave you money and you have filled a form that you are going to give this money back on this and this date along with this much interest. So this is simplified explanation of bond. Now when you say you are going to give money after one year or after two year or whatever be the time period, this is known as maturity period. That after this much time period, you will return the money back to B1. Simple. Now in this context, there is this term AT1 bonds. AT1 bonds stands for additional tier 1 bonds. Problem is that these bonds have maturity period of 100 years. Now problem is that these bonds are quite complex and therefore you need proper financial knowledge in order to invest in these bonds. And usually banks issue them. Now one of the biggest risks for these investment bonds was this maturity period of 100 years. So SEBI issued a circular. Circular means a new guideline and that is why there was chaos in the market. So recently finance ministry has asked SEBI to withdraw this rule. The rule or the circular if implemented will make the investment in these bonds as risky. And if it is risky, that means less people are going to buy these or less people are going to invest in these type of bonds. And if less people are going to invest in these type of bonds, therefore it will be difficult for the banks to raise or to collect money through these bonds. That is the entire scenario. So first and foremost thing, what is a bond? We have covered it. What are 81 bonds? Who issued circular? It was issued by SEBI. Problem was that if it is implemented, it will create problems for the banks because now this type of investment will be regarded as risky and if it is considered as risky obviously less number of people are going to invest in the specific product that is why finance ministry has asked sebi to withdraw this all india tourist vehicles authorization and permit rules will be applicable from which date so these rules will be applicable from the new fiscal year that is from the first of april recently these were approved by Ministry of Road Transport and Highways. So as the name suggests, it is All India Tourist Vehicle Authorization and Permit Rules. So as per these new rules, any tourist vehicle operator may apply for All India Tourist Permit. And this can be done online. And it will be issued within the 30 days of submission. Now suppose you are from Delhi and you have multiple vehicles, multiple tourist vehicle. You need All India Permit. So that you can take tourists to the different locations in our country. Now you can apply for this permit online and this permit if approved will be issued within the 30 days of application. Now recently this ministry was also in news as Minister Nitin Gadkari, the road transport minister announced that within one year India is going to remove the toll booth and it means India is going to remove the physical toll booths and instead of that money will be collected through fast tags. So fast tags are the small devices, those are attached on the mirror of vehicle and with the help of this device, the money is automatically collected. Apart from that, Nitin Gadkari was also in news as recently he launched Vehicle Fleet Modernization Program. What is this program? So it is a policy to scrap the old vehicles and to promote the new vehicles. Which country has become India's second biggest oil supplier? So USA became the India's second biggest oil supplier. Who is India's biggest oil supplier? It is Iraq. USA has overtaken Saudi Arabia as the second biggest or second largest oil supplier to India. Now please note that Iran used to be a major supplier of oil for India but because of sanctions on Iran, the oil import reduced drastically. Sanctions because of JCPOA. What is JCPOA? It is Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action. So informally it is known as Iran Nuclear Deal. So India's biggest oil supplier as of now. Again. Please note that this data keep on changing. Sometimes one country emerges as top supplier. After a few months, another country may emerge as top supplier. So please do not read any article from 2019 and say this and this country is the top supplier. You are teaching wrong. How can you teach wrong with so many subscribers? Okay, so, so USA is the second biggest supplier. Iraq is the top supplier. Okay, one question from mapping. Whether Iraq share its border boundary with Persian Gulf or not? Please answer in the comment box. Now recently, USA was also in news because of one US institute and it is USNIH that is National Institute of Health. So why this institute was in news? Because recently, the researchers from this institute found a mosquito protein and it is 
AEG12. So, they found that this mosquito protein AEG12 can inhibit the virus and this virus can cause yellow fever and dengue. In simplest term, the virus which cause yellow fever, dengue, this virus can be prevented by a mosquito protein and the name of this mosquito protein is AEG12. This was found by the researchers of US National Institute of Health. So in exam they may ask you recently this term AEG12 was in news, it is related to. So recently USA was also in news because of Quad as the first virtual meeting of Quad held recently. And Quad is going to deliver up to 1 billion vaccine dose of COVID-19 to Indo-Pacific region. Now in the context of vaccination recently one more event was in news. Recently we completed 3 crore vaccinations. This vaccination drive was started on 16th of January and we covered 3 crore people and this has been achieved in the shortest possible time. Strunjai Hills Forest Reserve is located in which state of India? So it is located in the state of Gujarat and it is home to largest number of Asiatic lions. Recently it was in use because of massive fire. Apart from this, recently Nagarhol Tiger Reserve and Simlipal was also in use because of this fire incident. Now coming to the geographical location of this Strunja Hills. So as you can see, this is the geographical location. So these hills are located in the Bhavnagar district of Gujarat and these hills are located on the banks of river Shetrunji and this is considered that means this hill range is considered as sacred by Jain community. So this is Arabian Sea, this is Bay of Bengal. The Chenao Bridge of Indian Railways is being constructed in which state or union territory? So this is being constructed in the union territory of Jammu and Kashmir. It is a steel and concrete arch bridge and it is being constructed by Indian Railways. So this is constructed between Bakkal and Kauri of Jammu and Kashmir and on completion this is going to be the world's highest bridge. So A it is on Chenab river, B it is in the Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir. It is going to be constructed by Indian Railways and to be specific it is going to be built by Konkan Railway Corporation Limited. Now recently this Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir was also in use because of Unmole app. Answer in comment box what is the objective of this Unmole app which was launched recently by the administration of Jammu and Kashmir. Where is India's first dedicated express cargo terminal? So it is in Bangalore. Bangalore is in Karnataka. So what is the meaning of this term? Dedicated express cargo terminal. It means this terminal will be used exclusively for the export and import of international couriers. Dedicated means it will be used for this purpose only. So it is India's first dedicated express cargo terminal. It was recently launched in Bangalore. It is on Bangalore Airport and the name of Bangalore Airport is Kampegoda International Airport and it is in the city of Bangalore and it has been constructed by the BIAL. What is BIAL? It is Bangalore International Airport Limited. So these were the most important questions. Now we are going to cover important news events. So first is retinal eye scanning. So recently scientists from Hong Kong developed a technology of retinal eye scanning and it can help in the detection of autism. So first what is the name of technology or method name is retinal eye scanning. With the help of this method autism can be detected and this was found by the scientist from Hong Kong. Next is Virat Kohli. So cricketer Virat Kohli was in news as recently he became the first batsman to score 3000 runs in T20 international. Apart from that few other events were in news and these events are related to cricket. So first is related to Vijay Hazare Trophy. So it is a 50 over cricket tournament. Recently it was in use because the final match of this tournament held in Firozsa Kotla ground. This ground is in Delhi and in this final match Mumbai defeated Uttar Pradesh and Mumbai won the title for the fourth time. In addition to that recently Mitali Raj was also in use. So recently she became the first woman cricketer to score 7000 runs in ODI that is one day international matches. Apart from that recently she became the first Indian to score 10,000 international runs and she is the second woman to do so. Please understand the difference. This 10,000 is for international cricket that means for all categories. The 7,000 is for one day category only. Next is chairman of Stop TV partnership board. So recently our 
Health Minister Dr. Harsh Vardhan was appointed as the chairperson of this Stop TB Partnership Board. Next is Ayanesh Jalshwa. So recently, this Ayanesh Jalshwa reached Comoros to deliver the rice. India provided support to Comoros and as a part of this help, Ayanesh Jalshwa provided rice. This is 1000 metric ton of rice. Apart from that, few months ago, we had provided medical assistance to Comoros. Next is ISA that is International Solar Alliance. So recently this alliance was in use because Italy joined it. So this alliance came in picture as a result of COP21. This COP21 held in Paris. The headquarters of ISA is in Gurugram in Haryana. Next is National Volleyball Championship. So recently this championship held in Bhuneshwar. Bhuneshwar is in Odisha. Recently Odisha was in use as India's first fire park is going to be Odisha. Next is autocratization turns viral. Democracy Report 2021. So this is a report by an institute from Sweden. Name of institute is VDAM. That is Varieties of Democracy. So as per this, India has become electoral autocracy. Previously, India was in the category of electoral democracy. Next is HK Mittal. So recently, HK Mittal was in use as government had constituted an expert committee for the monitoring and execution of startup India seed fund and this committee will be chaired by HK Mittal. Now this Startup India Seed Fund was announced during Praram Summit. The summit was organized by Commerce Ministry on the occasion of completion of five years of Startup India scheme. This Startup India Seed Fund is a fund of 945 crore rupees. Next is Prince with Paintbrush, the story of Raja Ravi Verma. So Raja Ravi Verma was the prominent painter and this book is authored by Shobha Tharoor. Next is down under the dome. So recently, Maharashtra governor released this e-book and this book depicts the history of Mumbai General Post Office Building. Recently, Maharashtra was also in news because of Mumbai Police Commissioner. So previous police commissioner was Parambir Singh. Now he has been replaced and new Mumbai Police Commissioner is Hemant Nagarale. Next is Recycling Heroes. So this is the theme of Global Recycling Day and it is celebrated on 18th of March. That means this time it was celebrated on 18th of March. Apart from that, 14th of March was International Maths Day. In 2019, UNESCO recognized 14th of March as International Maths Day. Before that, it was observed as Pi Day. 14th of March is also observed as International Day of Action for Reverse. Next is Battle Ready for 21st Century. So this is a book and it is co-edited by Lieutenant General A.K. Singh along with Brigadier Narendra Kumar. And last is Justice Indu Malhotra. So recently the tenure of Justice Indu Malhotra ended. So what is so unique about Justice Indu Malhotra? Actually, she was the first woman judge to be appointed to the Supreme Court directly from the bar. The, that is from Supreme Court bar. So usually it is association of the lawyers who are practicing in Supreme Court. So that was all for the day. Thank you.